Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen that when we don't use the back stack and if I add a fragment, it will get added without affecting the back stack and that is why the back stack count is still zero. And when I click on the back button, the whole activity with the fragment gets closed. If you don't want this to happen and only the fragment to get closed, then you will have to override the default behavior of what happens when you click on the back button. So in this video, we will try to understand a little bit more about the back stack and removing the fragment from the activity. So we will not touch this part of the code where we are adding fragments depending upon the back stack entry count. What we will do is to remove the fragment, we will override the on back pressed method. On back pressed method is the method that gets called when you hit the back button on your Android phone. And this is the default behavior which closes the both activity and the fragment together when you are working with the fragment without the back stack. And I don't want this to happen now. So what I will do is I will first check whether a fragment exists in the container. For that what I can do is fragment is equal to fragment manager dot find fragment by id r dot id dot fragment container. And if the fragment is not equal to null, that means there is a fragment in the container. I can create a transaction and then using the fragment transactions remove method, I can remove the fragment and then commit on the fragment transaction. This happens when there is a fragment, else you can rely on the normal behavior which is calling super dot on back pressed. And now if I run this particular code, you will observe that on click of the add fragment, the fragment gets added and on click of the back button, the only fragment gets removed even though we are working without the back stack and when I click another back button, then the activity gets closed. If I try to add the fragment multiple number of times I click on the add fragment first time the first fragment gets added because of this particular line of code and since we are not using back stack what happens is only this fragment gets added again and again and when I click on the back button you will observe that till you hit the null the same fragment will get removed and finally when there is no more fragment and when I click on the back button the activity gets closed so this particular part of the code which is using back stack entry count as basis for adding fragment is of not much use when we are working without backstack. So we will have to come up with a different mechanism. What we can do is we can use the similar concept that we have used in the on back pressed method here that is get hold of the fragment and check what is the instance of the fragment. If it is instance of sample fragment that is first fragment then you probably want to add fragment to else if fragment is instance of fragment 2 then you want to add fragment 3 else if fragment is instance of fragment 3 you want to add sample fragment that is the very first fragment and else means basically the fragment was null in that case you just want to add the sample fragment even now also we have not used the back stack and let us see what happens now I just kept on adding multiple fragments and you can see that the back stack is not getting affected because we are not using the back stack at all and when I click on the back button till it hits null it will keep on removing the fragment and then finally it closes the activity and if you don't want to maintain multiple fragments you can use replace method this will just replace the existing fragment with the new fragment so let me run this I will add a fragment and then I will replace one with two. I will replace two with three. I will replace three with one. This is how now the behavior is. And since there are no multiple fragments, when I click on back, it will be a blank screen. And then I click another back, the activity will get closed. So this should give you a very fair idea about how the fragments are added. And if you are working without the back stack, how to work with the fragments in terms of adding and replacing the fragments. Now let us see what happens with the back stack. I just kept on replacing multiple fragments. You might be wondering if I am just replacing the existing fragment, why is the back stack count increasing? 
and when I click on the back button, why is it going blank? For this, we have to understand the fragment transaction and the other method, which is fragment manager dot pop backstack in a much more detailed manner. We shall see that in the next video. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.